Hey guys, how's it going? Astro Manny here, and we're back with another video. And uh, this one is going to be a little bit maybe overdone by other people, but I kind of want to show my take on it and a little bit of what I've learned, and maybe hopefully it can help you guys out. And uh, I'll talk about it a little bit more thorough. So, we're going to talk about the new weapon loadout situation happening where you can save your weapon loadouts to your ships so we're gonna go ahead and talk about that a little bit so we're gonna go down to a bunker here in our beautiful beautiful redeemer here and we're gonna talk about picking up some weapons putting those weapons into the weapon rack and then saving our vehicle loadout and then therefore those weapons are insured and are safe within the vehicle and every time we repair or claim the vehicle those weapons will be there so to start this off we're just gonna you know safely land down in our location in our beautiful white redeemer and um, go do a bunker because what better way to talk about weapon storage than to go get some weapons to put in our weapon storage so why don't we show that off a bit? Um, as you can see there, the FPS is kind of low. I had that up, but I'm gonna take that down for video purposes, and um, let's go check this out. So I'm in, right now. I'm in my normal loadout. You know, my pilot suit, my normal light armor suit. I'm not even gonna bother putting on heavy armor or anything like that for this. I'm just gonna go down, and uh, I don't even have a weapon. I mean, well, I have a I have a pistol because my pilot suit only carries a pistol, but the point of this is we're gonna go get some weapons and we're gonna put the weapons in our redeemer and uh, save them and I'll show you a few tips that I've learned and a few things about it and hopefully if you guys didn't know about this already well now you do so if, if you get a lot of information from my channel here is some more information that is going on around the verse while we're going down this elevator, you know what to do, guys. Smash that like button, leave a comment down below if you have any other pointers or tips on this trick. And uh, if you like it and I helped you out a bit, let me know. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that bell for alerts and all that. Thank you guys for all the support. Appreciate it. Now let's go kill some baddies, guys, with my golden pistol. My golden pistol. Yeah, boy. Your boy's in the golden pistol club. <laughs> I didn't mean to. It just ended up that way. So we're going to go down here with our golden pistol, take out some baddies, and hopefully grab some weapons. So as we pull in, um, we can see that we have some friendlies and we have some enemies. I think that's a bad guy. We'll take him out. Boom. One down. Got some money, so that's a good thing. Way over there. There's a guy here. Take him out. Pretty sure that's a bad guy. A little bit of desync, but that's okay. A little bit of desync. Get our reload in. Hopefully everything goes well. Sorry, I was concentrating. There was a lot of enemies there to take down all at once. And I'm still dealing with that. I don't know if he died or not. Hopefully he did. I don't think he did. That guy's a tank. Alright. Well, we're getting a lot of work in with our little pistol here. I think we're going to move on. Clear out the rest of the place with our beautiful golden pistol. <laughs> Ooh. Hello, buddy. Welcome. Welcome to YouTube, buddy. Now you're dead. Alright, so we're running low on ammo. We want to hold on to our pistol ammo, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab this guy here to finish out the final guy, wherever he is. There he is. All done. So, there you go. You're looking for weapons, you get them like this. We'll go ahead and we'll search for red boxes while we're here. There is a medical crate, we don't necessarily need that. 
But anyways, guys, so the point of this video, like I said, is uh, we're just going to clear some bunkers. That's the point of this video. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. The point of this video is about the weapon loadouts that you can save your ships. So if we find any fancy things, like a golden executive SMG, we can grab that if we wanted to, but I have plenty of those, so I'm going to search around a little bit longer, see if there is anything else. Um, and if not, then I already know what I want to grab, and we'll talk about that, because actually somebody left a comment down in one of my previous bunker videos about the weapon, and I do want to let everyone know that I do believe that weapon is a, is a beast, and that weapon I'm talking about is the FS9. The LMG, 120 rounds per magazine. Does that help you guys out a little bit? 120 rounds per magazine. <laughs> I just trolling a little bit, guys. I love you guys. Thanks for all the support. Doesn't look like there's any red boxes. I might have missed them. Let me know if I did. But I think we're good. Now we'll go and we'll look for the weapons on the dead bodies and see what we're going to grab. So... I'm currently holding an SMG, which is not a bad weapon, and it's got a nice red dot sight. It's really nice. I like that. There's a standard P4, which is always great as well. And uh, that guy's another SMG guy. That's another SMG guy, the custodian. So what we're looking for is the big bad boy, right? Here he is, the FS9. We're going to make sure we grab that. Boom. So we got the FS9. It looks like there's only one FS9, but that's fine. Because I'll show you why that's fine in a moment, okay? Anyway, so we picked up the FS9. We got an SMG on our back, even if we wanted that. And uh, so we came here for it. Did a bunker. Didn't get any good special super weapons, you know? We didn't get any special tasty, spicy weapons in the red boxes. We didn't really find any red boxes besides the one, and it only had the custodians in them. So not so much of a luck there, but the point of this video is just to grab some guns and uh, show you a new trick that everyone is talking about. And let's go do that, all right? Plus there was a fun little bit of uh, gunplay there with the golden pistol. I wanted to show that off, right? <laughs> so we're done here. We can get back in our redeemer and close up the bay there close up the door in the redeemer we go uh we're actually going to take the smg off of our back a little sneak peek of other weapons that are in the storage of our ship a little sneak peek there so now we have the fs9 on our back right okay and so here is the weapons locker for why are all my system doors open do those open automatically when I hit the open all button? Interesting. Hey, look at that, guys. I don't know if it happens in all ships, but the Redeemer, when you press open all with your key bind, whatever you set that to, because it's not binded when you start the game. I have it binded to my apostrophe button, and that opens up all doors on the ship. I didn't know it opens up your system doors, too. Look at that. That's a cool little thing. Check that out, guys. So anyways, here's the weapon rack on the Redeemer, right? So it's actually even opened up the weapon rack. When I hit open all, it opened up the weapon rack, too. Unless I already pressed the button. Maybe I did. Maybe I did. Anyways, so we're going to place here our FS9 in the weapon rack. Boom. There it is. And... Then what we're going to do is we're going to go into our storage. Yes, some beautiful feisty weapons. Look at this, okay? And now we got the Demico. Okay, this is a beast, all right? And it's got a silencer. It's the laser SMG, okay? Or SMG. <laughs> Light machine gun, the LMG. So those are my two favorite LMGs. The Demico, I probably enjoy a little bit more because I'm a laser fanboy. But those are your big bad boys. There's also another LMG. <laughs> and guess what? I have that on me too. So here is the other LMG. Um, this one comes with 150. 150 per magazine. The F55 LMG. Check that out. The Demico LMG and the FS9 LMG. So this Redeemer is fitted, man. This Redeemer is fitted. We're going to go ahead and throw on the standard uh, 
the standard P4 on there as well. It's got the the kit from the the bad guys and stuff, so it's got the uh, it's got the scope and the. Uh, uh oh. Okay, we're good. Oop. Pressing the wrong buttons here. Here we go. So it's got the scope and the, the compressor on it and everything. So there you go. That is our weapons locker for our Redeemer. Some bad weapons there, man. Some big weapons. Let's see if we have. No, it does not have any places for your pistols and stuff. That's sad. That's a little bit sad. I will show you guys that at the end of the video as well. Um, a weapon rack that allows you to put pistols and stuff on there. But so that is our weapon rack for our Redeemer. Cool, don't you think? Right? So I'm going to close that up. Um, I'm going to close that up. Well, I, I thought I was going to close it up. I guess I'm not. Maybe it doesn't close when there's weapons in there. Anyways, that is our weapons in the weapon rack for the Redeemer. Now I'm going to show you how the trick works, right? It's not really a trick. I, I guess it's weapon insurance that is meant to be in the game. Uh, I don't know exactly how everyone's other every other person's videos are, but I'm just going to tell you all I know about it, okay? So we're going to take off when we go to port all us are because that's the closest one to us. Set a route. Beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to take off. Pull up our landing gear. Set up our quantum. Line ourselves up for our jump. And we're up out of the atmosphere. OM1. There we go. So, I know I'm not, you know, there's a lot of extra in here, but guys, I like to show gameplay. I like to show unedited things. I'm going to give you guys a thorough tutorial on this. It's not really a tutorial either. It's just to look at this thing. It's cool. Check it out. Make sure that you're taking advantage of it while it's here. I don't know if it's here to stay or what the plan is, but so far, uh, I've had some mixed, mixed thoughts about this. I kind of like... I like the fact that when you die, you lose your gear, and you lose your guns, and it sucks, but it's a part of the game. With this weapon insurance, it's, you know, cutting people some slack, you know, allowing you to have mistakes, and then you get your stuff back relatively easy, which I guess is nice for alpha, but when it comes to the real game, I feel like it's, it's too easy the way it currently is. But, one of the things that we haven't talked about yet, is it does come with a price, okay? So you don't just get these weapons for free, you have to actually pay for them. So that's the little bit that is uh, the big game changer here, right? So it's not an exploit, we're not duping weapons, we're paying to get our weapons back. We're paying for the insurance. That is what is going on. And we'll show you how this works here, coming up, okay? So here we are pulling up the port Alasar, doing our thing. Coming in, we're gonna pull out our landing gear, right? Landing gear deployed. Is my ship injured at all? It might be. It's, it's saying torque and balance, but I don't know why it would be saying that. Maybe the last time I because I did use this for some bounties recently. I don't know. What the dealio is. I'll go ahead and we'll repair now just in case. We'll just repair now just in case. We'll even fill up. Why not? Anyways, engines are off. We are getting out and we are leaving the ship. And what we're doing now, guys, is again, we're leaving those weapons in the weapon rack, right? And it did close the door. You can see the glass around it now. I don't know why. It was just server lag, I guess, why it wasn't closing earlier. But anyways, those weapons are in a weapon weapon rack. They're all weapon rack. They're all safe and sound. So now the next part of the trick is you need to save your weapon loadout. It doesn't just magically know that your weapons are there and it's forever saved. You have to go save your weapon loadout yourself. So what you got to do here 
is uh, make sure you shut your doors so this shit doesn't get stolen while you're trying to show off the trick in a video. That's one thing you need to do. <laughs> so we're going to run our way over and get things sorted. All right. So we head on in here and the first thing you're going to do is you're going to store your ship. Okay. So we are going to go to our redeemer and we are going to hit store. Now here's what you got to do next. You got to pull up the weapon or the, the vehicle loadout manager, right? So it does tend to glitch out. Hold on, let me go a little bit. I, I can't stand worse than it's uh, talking. Okay, so here, here I can talk over the, the dang commercials. Uh, so you go to Vehicle Loadout Manager, which is down here by pulling up the Moby Glass. It's the second button here. And sometimes it glitches out. So if you don't have any other vehicles in the place that you're doing this, after you stored your vehicle that you just stored, you might have to log out and log back in. It can, it can be a little bit glitchy. But if you do have ships stored here already, you can click on the first ship on the list. So you see I clicked on Aegis Gladius, it pulled up the vehicle. Loadout manager worked like a charm. Now I can go to the Redeemer, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Redeemer and I'm going to click on some of its stuff. Uh, so let's see if there's something I can move out legitly. Now those are size fives. How about the MA? Okay, so here we go. So here's the M5A cannon. The way I like to assure that this works is I actually swap out something I currently have, which actually these are all in use, so I can't even swap those out. That is uh, disappointing. So hopefully this works without doing the swap out and just unequipping. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to one of our weapons, right? Like the M5A cannon, okay? And I'm going to unequip it, right? And I'm going to save changes and equip. Boom. So it saved the vehicle loadout from my redeemer, all right? So I'm going to actually exit out of the Moby Glass and go back in because that's just me doing an extra insurance that it's going to work. You might not have to do that. You might, you might have to. I don't know. Uh, but just for my extra peace of mind, I go ahead and I leave the Moby Glass, go back in, do the whole thing where I clicked on the Gladius first, and then back to my Redeemer. Now, we don't want to not have that gun there, so we're going to put that gun back, put it back on, save changes and equip. Okay? So now, again, it saved our whole vehicle loadout, including the weapons that are in the weapon rack. So now let's go back and let's check that out. Right? So we're going to go out. And, uh, we're, well, first we got to pull out the Redeemer, Welcome right? To the so we're going go to we're gonna go to the Redeemer, and we're going to pull it out, retrieve. Stay with me, guys. I know it's not super fast. Ooh. There it is. Okay. But I like to be thorough and show you guys everything, and I, and I know a lot of you guys appreciate that. So, so here we go. We're, we're, we're getting to the end of it here. So again, I saved the vehicle loadout and it should have saved the guns in the gun rack now. Now again, it's not free to get those guns back. You have to pay. It's going to cost you, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to close this so no one comes in and steals our ship while we're in the middle of this process. And now what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go to my weapon rack, right? And my weapons are there. I'm going to open up the weapon rack. I'm going to... I don't know why this is giving me such a hard time. To open this door. Oh, okay. Maybe because it, I needed to actually click on the button and not where the word was. Okay, so that's a cool little trick there for the Redeemer. Actually click on the, the button. Anyways, so... What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take the the Demico. I'm going to equip it. I'm in an armistice zone, so I can't grab it, but I can equip it. I can equip it. Boom. It's on my back. All right. So the Demico is on my back. And what I'm going to do now 
is in the vehicle, I'm going to throw it in the vehicle so I can take out another weapon, right? So now I'm going to go boom. I'm going to take the the P4. Actually, no, let's take the uh, the the other rare weapon, the F55. So I'm going to equip that. Boom. Okay. It's on my back. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the P4 as well because that's I remembered why I wanted to take the P4. Oh, I put that in local. Let's make sure to put that in vehicle. I mean, it doesn't have to be in vehicle, but let's, let's put that in vehicle, right? Okay, so I'm going to take the P4, hit equip, boom, on my back, right? There we go. And then, I mean, I guess I could keep it on my back. Actually, and you know what I am going to do? I'm going to throw those in local. I don't know why I was saying to put those uh, not in local, because I want to keep them in local anyways. Personal, right? So uh, grab that, throw that in local. Okay, boom. So we're just gonna let's take them all. <laughs> let's take them all. Let's be let's be thorough. Let's take them all. So I took them all. Take the the FS9 off the back, and voila, they're all stored away in local. And uh, the weapon rack is empty. Okay. So now this is the part that I like to be very thorough about. All right, guys. So now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna go to my vehicle repair button. So you go in here. You pull up the Moby Glass and you go to the vehicle maintenance service down here, the wrench button. And now I can repair my ship. But do you see this? Okay, I'm going to get all those weapons back. Those weapons are fully insured. But it's costing me 14000 to get those weapons back. Those LMGs are not cheap. Okay, so if you're putting weapons in the weapon racks, do mind if it's a rare weapon or it's a bigger weapon, sniper rifle, LMG, railgun. Uh, cause I could do this with a railgun. I could show you to, to duplicate a railgun. It's not duplicating. You're buying a new railgun. Okay. So that's expensive. Buying a new railgun, buying a new rocket launcher. That's expensive. Buying these LMGs, relatively expensive. Buying the sniper rifles, kind of expensive. The smaller guns, not so much, but it does cost. So I auto repair. Boom. Right. Processing, processing, processing and done. Okay. So now I'm going to get out of the seat, and I'm going to go back over to the gun rack, okay? And all those guns should be there. So again, I got my guns back. Voila. They're all there. FS9, Demico, F55, and the P4. They're all there. Job is well done. Awesome. Okay? So that's fantastic, but I paid 14 grand for that. So I didn't duplicate anything, I just insured my weapons and got them back. So it's a quick way to get weapons back that you lost, but you're going to have to pay for them. And the bigger the weapon, the rarer the weapon, the more it's going to cost. So be aware of that, guys. That is something I want to emphasize. Be aware that it costs you to get these weapons back. They also, what I want to show, is they also come with the attachments. You see my Demico has the sight on it, and it still has the silencer. So it keeps the attachments they have on them too. For some reason, the P4 is not showing that it has the um, scope on. I don't know if it actually does or it's gone. But as you can see here, the Demico has its sights on and it has a silencer that is inside the, the door. You can't really see it, but it's there. It has a silencer and it has a scope. So that is how you ensure your weapons, how you can get more weapons back at a price. So be aware of that. It's a cool little nifty thing. Do I agree about it? Do I do I am I cool with it? I guess so. It's an alpha where a lot of dumb things happen and you lose your gear. So having this is nice. Um, and the fact that you are actually paying for your weapons shows that you're not just cheating and getting them back. So I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna close that up, and that's it. That's it, guys. So Make sure you save your weapon, or your vehicle loadouts like I like I showed you. You got to take a weapon off, save it, put it back on, save it, and now your guns are saved. And now every time I pull out my redeemer, I can have that weapon loadout ready for me or friends or whatever. Too bad it doesn't work on suits, right? If it could work on armor, that would be awesome. We can't wait for the suit racks. Once the suit racks come, oh my gosh, working suit racks. That would be amazing. So, that's the gist of it. Now, if you claim your ship, like if your ship blows up or something and you need to claim your ship, it should come back. It should. 
Um, it's part of the it's part of the ship loadout, and so sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you can get screwed over and you will lose your guns. Sometimes it happens to people. It's the game's not perfect. It's Star Citizen, you know, so that happens. But I just showed you the best to my best of ability on how to make it work and how to keep it working. So I try to not die. I don't really die very often in the game. I I, I, I work around all the bugs. I do my best to work around all the bugs. I do my best to stay alive. I kind of try to take this game. I, I have fun, but I, I take my life seriously as in try to, you know, immerse myself in the game. I have one life to live and I don't want to lose it. And sometimes I do and you can't, you can't avoid it. But as much as I can, I try to stay alive. Uh, so I don't claim my ships too often anyways. But if you do claim your ship, it will be there. So I'm going to end the video here, guys, but I do want to just, uh, you know, let you guys know. So since you know about this weapon thing now, go outfit your favorite ships and and live life, man. And I'm going to end this off by getting in my beautiful, speaking of go get in a ship and live in it, this is my baby, okay? I just got done customizing it today. The customization for some reason for me was broken for a while and it was not allowing me to customize it on the website and it finally just worked today. I, I just randomly decided, hey, why don't I go click on my 325A and see if I could customize it and I can't and I was able to. So I got my beautiful blue 325A. So go out there, get your favorite ships, get your favorite guns and put them in your favorite ship and do what you want, man. Have a blast in Star Citizen. Have a wonderful time and just enjoy the game. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to be driving this 325A around a lot. Look at this thing. It's gorgeous and it's got my favorite setup. Look at this ship. Oh my goodness. There will be a showcase on this ship in the future. Stay tuned for that, especially because I am going to show off this ship a lot. I love this ship. And here is my favorite setup for my 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 ship, and I wanted to show this off. Little extra at the end of the video here. Here is my S71 rifle with the silencer and the scope on it, and my Karna rifle with the silencer and the scope on it. Those are my go-to guns, alongside the Demico. Those are my go-to guns, and this is what I really wanted to show off: the pistol rack. So some ships have a pistol rack. And you could put your multi-tool and your med gun in there so that when you lose your multi-tool and med gun, you can get them back. Not to mention the golden executive golden pistol, baby. Check that boy out. I was already using it in the beginning of this video. It's wonderful, guys. Um, so make sure, once again, follow the steps in this video to make sure that your weapon loadout works correctly. Put those weapons in those racks, insure them, and have a wonderful time out there in the verse, guys. This is going to be it. Make sure, again, to smash that like button, guys. Subscribe if you liked how thorough I am in my uh, tutorials or anything I try to do to help you guys out. I try to be thorough and show you guys step by step and take you along for the ride. So smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know you enjoyed. Let me know what are your guys' favorite guns that you're going to be putting for your ships. Let me know your favorite guns. Let me know your ships that you're doing loadouts for. I want to hear it all. Let's have conversations, guys. Thanks, guys, so much. Subscribe if you haven't already, and you know what to do. Hit that bell. There's a video every single day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you guys so much. This is Astro Manny signing off. Hope you have a wonderful day, and adios. Look at that ship. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to go bedlog and go to bed. Have a wonderful time, guys. Adios.